The main idea before we started was that we would have some guns from somewhere. As he was telling you, the ones we expected from Morocco, the ones we expected. But much of what we are doing was that whenever you come across any gun or across any ammunition, you have it. Now, I was in, uh, in Masindi with the late of two and a half, Moronde, he died recently. And we were in charge of the training. So whenever we would go for, for training, we would be able to save some ammunition. Now, when we were going to Kampala, after we had been coming, we would be coming to coordinate and plan and with the, our leader and the others. I used the, I used the, 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 the DC's vehicle. The DC, the DC was a, an old OB of mine, so I requested for his vehicle and we put in our, we had managed to get one gun, one gun plus his and mine, but he gave them to me. We put in them in our, in our pickup of the RDC, of the district commissioner there, because there were so many roadblocks on the way. And uh, we were able to bring them to Kampala towards the end when we decided to go. Now, on the 4th and 5th of February, but even before that, uh, Lubic had mentioned a little bit about to come with, about uh, the Kisimiti incident. Some of our friends, uh, the late Sam Magara and the late uh, Kami Mutuzi, who died on the, the Kisimiti, when that attack is coming with the drinking place, that the, the DC leader would be received to sit there. And that may, may gave us a bit of disorganization because two of our comrades died there. Uh, and uh, 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 the son of the brother of the Bereza. So two of our comrades were died there. That was a, those were the first casualties of our in the, in the preparations. Now when we decided to, before we went to Kalamba, in Kalamba there was there were contacts who were inside. And Akanga had been also was one of those who were coordinating and leaking out. The idea was that let's use whatever guns we had collected. We took them to Chikene's house. Some were taken to Wahab where some of the people were staying at uh, the late Zeka John, John, John Kazora. The Rukri Fazora in Makindi. And March, by March of the effort was actually collecting guns and collecting people. The danger was who would you tell and um, who would you tell? How sure are you? So many people are wanted to go, but that was very, very important. That the Lord took off and left me behind. But by then we were very fit. I tried to shout, but I couldn't compete, of course, with the engine of the road. So I dressed up, put my peg behind, and uh, held my gun high port. For more than 13 kilometers, I ran after the road. Because I knew I was the one to capture the water guard. I must have done it in much less than an hour. We, the Lord had, the Lord had, after they had gone and waited at Chakasa. By us, when the Lord and the, and the small vehicle arrived, the right group of Sam Magara had to go ahead to wait and ensure that everything was okay and to connect with the people inside. Now, inside the Kukabamba, our contacts were at who, who, who uh, the uh, Kanga whom he, uh, Kanga had connected with. There was Mule Mwanga, there was Yakabare, Mwene Buderia, there was Kanyankore, there was uh, one who became the MTO, Biabasheja, and uh, 
and JJ was in the know. But we knew that JJ would be at the master parade with the recruits. So when the red group went of Magara, it did not come back until it broke daylight. And we were getting worried. But just tell you what happened. So when I ran from from where they left me and I reached near Chakas, I was worried. If these people see a soldier running, won't they shoot at me? So I said, what do I do? I said, okay, let me walk as if I am a soldier coming from from pass, going to, and if they just say, if, if I don't think they will shoot here. So I walked slowly, slowly. When I reached the road, there was a lot of silence, and I knocked on the window where, uh, where uh, HG was sitting, and I told him, sir, you had left me behind. Now soon the pickup, the red group came back, the small car with some Magara and said everything was okay. Then we exchanged seats. H E went back in the road and I sat in front. We then the, the small car came behind because the idea was that we would convince the would 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 keep the water guard ready and the small car passes. I told my section, I gave them a password. I told them, first of all, you will sit at the end of the truck. Let the other section sit in front. You sit at the end of the truck, you should be the first people to get out. My two I see was Kasasa. So we sat, they sat at the end of the back, I sat in front. And uh, when we reached the quarter guard, first we stopped at the officer's quarters, section of, the section of Mijeba, of the pistols. We first stopped above the, the officer quarters, just across. So they got out with their pistols, then we continued up to the quarter guard. When we reached the quarter guard, I came out, and uh, my section was following. And then I, they, there were two, uh, Tanzanian guards who are very alert. One of them had put his gun down, one of them was holding his gun. So, just like we have just finished uh, coming out, he said, I said, Sir, Sir, and the man was, was not interested in the greeting, was interested in seeing these who are getting. I said, We are from the headquarters. Uh, I did not want to say we have brought you to Chakora because that would be... I said we have supplies. Now, as I was beginning to say that, then the small vehicle behind the truck passes. And the last Tanzanian soldier said, Mbona yo, yo mbona me pita, he opened his, his safe. Now, in the army, we have been saying, why are do he couple like a Why? So, I did not want to wait this man could why. So that's why when he opened his safe, because he saw, and there is quite a big distance, it is about 200 meters from the water guard up to the armor. So that's when I said to my one entire Chakura, and the Chakura was what she got. <laughs> then fire started, my section was ready. The, the second one who was the next Tanzania, and then the pistol fired and started firing from the, the officer's base, and in a very short time it was fire talk, bullet talk. Then all of a sudden the machine gun started firing from from the armor, which a doctor was explaining, which is an underground armor. When the south section went, they took cover, and, 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 and they tried, when they tried to go, he, sat, he was firing at them with a, a machine gun. And the whole firing, you know, suicide, who was among those who attacked the, uh, attacked the, 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 the quartermaster stores. For him, he went shooting in the air like this, everywhere they were shooting in the All the recruits who were at the, at, far at the, 
near the dam where the parade was, all of them scattered. And they were very far. So the section and the armor was unable to enter because of the machine gun fire. Now, when we started...